No. Thousands of hardcore soccer fans from the U.S. have made the long trek down to the Brazilian city of Manaus this weekend for the match between the U.S. and Portugal. A steady stream of fans walked through the plaza on Saturday morning, taking pictures and making predictions. My heart says we'll win 1-0. I think uh, Portugal has been overrated for a long time, and if uh, Costa Rica can beat Italy, the United States will wipe the floor with Portugal, I'm pretty sure. I know. Across town, a church group from St. Charles, Illinois, is on a unique mission to play soccer with the local kids and hook them up with some new gear. We send teams down uh, pretty regularly, but it really was convenient to be able to come down during the World Cup and to support what they're doing down here. They'll be doing some ministry around the World Cup on the outside of the stadium, and we'll get to be part of that. And a few of us actually get to go to the game. Some of these kids have been playing together for years, but they were no match for the local children who beat them. It's fun, and whenever, I, whenever we talk about soccer, we seem to understand each other, but we can't understand each other when we're talking about anything else. The group is in Manaus for one week, visiting their sister church in the city. They'll also help set up medical facilities and an English language camp in a nearby neighborhood. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. Hey, 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 hey.